The war of words is heating up this time between Leon Investor, Leon Cooperman, the investor Leon Cooperman, and Democratic Senator and Presidential Candidate Elizabeth Warren. The latest salvo, a critical letter from Cooperman to Warren, and then the Senator tweeting back a response. Robert Frank joins us with all of the gossip in detail. Yeah, this is getting juicy, Andrew. Uh, uh, billionaire investor Leon Cooperman sending an open letter to Senator Warren yesterday saying her, quote, soak the rich and vilification of the rich policies are misguided and divisive. It's the latest back and forth that started right here on Squawk Box. If Elizabeth Warren is elected president, in my opinion, the uh, market drops 25 percent. All the billionaires that I know are self-made and give back more to the system they give on themselves. Just to catch you up, Warren then tweeted saying, Leon, you were able to succeed because of the opportunities this country gave you. Why don't you pitch in a bit more? Cooperman writing now in this new letter that as the son of a plumber from the South Bronx, he earned his wealth through hard work and has pledged to give most of it to charity. Quote, for you to suggest that capitalism is a dirty word, and that the wealthy as a group are ingrates who didn't earn their riches and now don't pull their weight socially indicates that you are either grossly uninformed or are knowingly warping the facts for narrow political gain. Ouch. Now, the five-page letter goes on to say that while the tax system is already highly progressive, he'd be willing to pay more, though not through a wealth tax, more so through eliminating the step up in capital gains, doing away with carried interest, and also imposing a version of the Buffett rule that would be a surtax on those making more than a million a year. Warren tweeting back last night, Leon is wrong. I'm fighting for big changes like universal child care, investing in public schools, we can do all of that with a wealth tax. Leon can and should pitch in more so that every kid has the same opportunities he did to well, succeed. What's so interesting to me about this is Leon sends the letter, and who leaks the letter? Who leaks the letter? Elizabeth Warren, because she thinks that this is actually good for her, and she uses it as a way to attack him. Yeah. I think that she's going after the wrong guy. I understand her views on the world and what she's trying to do. But I think that, that Leon Cooperman is not the target of her wrath, especially if you really un be. He especially if you understand both, the, both his charitable side. But I was also going to say his views on progressive taxes are actually pretty agreed, pre pretty liberal. Sure. Uh, you know, when he's talking about carried interest, when he's talking about getting rid of 1031 exchanges, when he's talking rid rid about getting rid of the step up. Uh, at death. I mean, a lot of those things are some of the, the low hanging fruit that we've talked about on this show. And, you know, given his background, given the fact, I, mean, I, I, I got I, someone I, who sent I, me an email last night. I agree night. with Lee 100%. However, I think that he's in a losing position when he hands yes. this red meat to Elizabeth Warren, who's going to do nothing but use it for political gain. You know, somebody gain. sent me an email and by the way, but she missed an opportunity. are going to jump right all over it. She had an opportunity she to moderate, she it. had an opportunity to, to moderate her persona by responding somewhat favorably. Lee offered, he invited yeah. her to engage in a conversation. She completely dismissed that on Twitter. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's yeah. the end I of mean, the, the conversation. Is, is that her or is that Twitter, right? It's a little hard to, to I mean, unless she had said, I yeah. want to engage with you now. You think Leon. they meet? You think they sit down? No. no. This, is, I, this is red I don't. to her. Support. But what I was going to say is what happens, talking about her base. Yeah. I get an email last night, I think from one of our viewers, but somebody who's actually on, on her base side, who says, you know, he grew up with. He grew up on third base. What are you talking about? He went to Hunter College for free. No, no. This was the, the point. He went to Hunter College for free. This is the equivalent of, of third base. You can't go to Hunter College for free anymore. And I wrote it back and I said, I, I think you're missing the point. He actually gave the largest donation in the history of Hunter College. He gave him $25 million back in 2013. If you don't think he's paying his fair share, you know, go find somebody else. I just think that, that Leon Cooperman's the, the wrong target for this. I respect what he's trying to do, but I also think. Politically, it's complicated because she's using it. Well, and, and the question is, to what effect? Clearly, there are people, as like by evidence of the email I was getting last night, from people in her base who, who are on her side in this instance. Because it's so easy to caricature a guy like Lee Cooperman and not read what he actually said, was, right. which was, I am willing to pay more. I believe, in fact, we do have a progressive system, and it should be right. more progressive, and here's how right. we should do it. And no one wants to talk Just about one that note. side of I it. think that when he said, I think he wants the system to pay more. I'm, he, he believes he's paying about 50% right now. Yeah, but I, don't it, but he did say I don't think he the, personally the, wants to pay more, for whatever it's worth. The yeah. letter was excellent. I think he believes in social progression. His point was, can we do it without the government bloating, bloating. itself and controlling right. it? I think it's an excellent point.